Hi, I'm Darian, coach at Copilot, and today I'm gonna show you three seated hinge movements. Doing your hinge movement seated is a really great way to safely strengthen your hinge position. Sometimes if you're really tight or if you're newer to strength training, the hinge position can be really challenging and it could put a lot of pressure on the lower back. So doing a few moves seated first is a really, really good way to train towards those standing hinge movements. So when you do a hinge, you're going to be bending from the hips versus rounding and bending from the back. So you wanna make sure that the back is really tall and straight and you're hinging from the hip. The first move we're gonna do is a seated bent over row. So you're gonna take your dumbbells on either side of your feet. From here, you're gonna pick up your dumbbells and you're gonna pull your elbows up and back. You wanna be pulling your dumbbells towards the hips. Move number two, we're gonna do a seated bent over reverse fly. So we're gonna get into that same position, only we're gonna be moving the arms out to the side. This is an amazing movement for strengthening the back. So again, we're bending by hinging from the hip, gonna grab our dumbbells and move the arms straight out to the side. You can have a slight bend in the elbow here, but this one is quite challenging. So I would suggest finding a weight that's light enough that you can keep the arms mostly straight and get your arms all the way out to shoulder height. Lastly, we're gonna work our seated good morning. So for this one, we're gonna have our dumbbells on the inside of our feet, move our feet slightly wider about shoulder distance or a little wider than shoulder distance. Again, bending, from the hips, and then with a flat back and tall chest, we're just gonna sit all the way up. And then tap your dumbbells back down. You will feel these moves in the back and lower back, as well as your core, but this should be like muscle engagement, not pain. If you feel any pain in the lower back, you can drop the weights completely and just do these moves as body weight only movements. Okay, I hope you really enjoyed that video and that you're able to safely practice your hinge movement. If you liked it, go ahead, hit like and subscribe. Check back here for more videos just like that.